Well, hey guys, welcome back to Wasting Time in the Woods. Uh, today we are installing some bison gear. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I put this cargo divider in, Molly system, which is awesome. It's got this magnetic latch and it secures to the back of the seats to keep all your stuff safe in a rollover. It gives you all sorts of new storage options, including this deck shelf up here. I've got some good footage of that elsewhere, so I'll just cut to that in a few minutes. But today's project, because it's raining, Phoenix, which is shocking, is getting rid of this old table and uh, putting this new bison gear table on. So it's got a Molly system on the back and hopefully it's not too hard to install. It goes kind of in the same position, but where this little JK table or whatever it is, uh, only comes across this panel and only gives you half, eh, about two thirds of the cutting surface that a full size table does. Uh, the bison gear is a nice big table. And the other thing I really like about this one is that it's really low profile. And I gotta get this done so that I can finish my drawer system. Figure out, I need to figure out how much clearance there is between the back door and the front of the drawers. My dad's coming out this week for Thanksgiving and we're going to build the box for the drawer system. So. Time to get this installed and figure it all out. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> actually, I actually love this table. This was essentially our first off-road mod. I think I bought this the first weekend. And um, I think I saw it somewhere on I Hate Mud that somebody else had done it. Uh, something similar. So I found this on eBay and I got these spacers for it so that the brackets would be properly spaced to maintain access to my storage there. But uh, it's been a great table. It's been on every camping trip that the GX has, I believe. I, I think we put this on before we even took it out camping. So it's starting to rattle a little bit. I put these cotter pins in. 40 miles of forest roads. It's like a cheese grater on your brain. It's good over here. Well, no, no, it's not. Before we get that cheese grater fixed, let's take a look at the install for the Bison Gear roof shelf, cargo barrier, and side molly panels. I like this system because it gives you a ton of storage options and keeps your beer cooler from ending up in your passenger seat if you get topsy on the trail. Start by removing the third row O shirt handles. I was surprised Lexus would be so vulgar too. Next, remove the front deck side trim cover and the bolt that's behind it. In its place, we're going to use the long bolt and plastic spacer to install the lower bracket. Now we can install the upper bracket and cargo shelf brackets with the M6 20mm bolts. Next, use the M6 12mm bolts to attach the side molly panels to the brackets at the top and bottom. My cargo shelf came with the hinged barrier already attached, so all I had to do was slide the assembly onto the upper brackets and bolt each side into place. The instructions didn't call for Loctite, but I used blue Loctite on the lower long bolts and I replaced the supplied M6 bolts with Nylocks. To use the cargo barrier, you'll need to slide the bracket onto the headrest pillars, pull the barrier down to detach the magnets, and then use the thumb screws to hold it in place. Be sure to show it off to your wife and take full credit for installing somebody else's ingenuity. Oh, I like it. Okay. Ceremonial telling yeah, of this stuff. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah. That's it. Dog jail. Check. In the arms of the angel. All right. Well, first thing we need to do is figure out how to get this thing off. This just mounts to the plastic, and I think the bison gear does as well, so got to get this panel off so that we can remove everything. If I remember, there's a screw somewhere here or behind here. So I'm just gonna start by taking these off, taking all the storage stuff out, and then figuring out how to pop the clips off. Manual says, that's right, I read the manual this time. Manual says that we gotta pop this garnish off and this and this before we get to that. The top garnish has clips in four places. 
I use a set of Amazon nylon trim removal tools for this sort of stuff. The side garnishes have square clips that you can release by hand after detaching the top guard. Just kind of work it until it pops off. You don't want to force them at all because then you'll end up breaking it. Next, remove the trim panel covers. Behind the large one is a bolt. And I almost forgot, in this handle, there is a little screw behind that little door. Go with a little tweaker screwdriver. That opens the door. Oops, screw. This just has a bunch of these type of clips in it all around here. And then I, I don't know if it's a latch up here. Or it's like something that like kind of hangs on. I'm like, oh, ah, you gotta open the door, the window. Hold in the trigger with, or the door sensor with my finger so I can do that. And it, but there you go. I'm gonna do what I do when I take off every piece of door panel trim. And that is, I'm going to sound deaden and insulate the inside of this door. Got all the insulation I can shove in there around all the wires and stuff easily anyways. I didn't get all of it, but got uh, a significant portion. It goes all the way up to here, all the way down, all the way across to about here. There's a gap here. And then there's some here and this whole panel. So missing here and here. I think that'll help a lot actually. Next, I place the table on the door panel to determine placement. So I'm gonna try and just open this and leave the brackets down. I hope it doesn't fall. I'm trying to decide how high or low to install it. Next, I put the trim panel back on the door and marked it to make sure I didn't install the table too low. With a little help, I marked the top holes of the bracket on the door panel and used a center punch before drilling. I mounted the table using the top bolts, which made it easy to drill the other holes using the brackets as a template. All right, so I just got the top two in, and I'm popping the washer and nut on now to see if there's any interference back there. All right, first complaint. They don't give you eight nuts and washers. They only give you six. Eight holes, one, two, Three, four, five, six screws. That's the holes from the old table. Just sealed it off a butyl table. Deal with that later, like everything else in my life. Everything's on the same schedule. Everything's on the, I'll deal with it later schedule. I'm just going to put some Loctite on these. Got it all cinched down there. I think the last thing I'm gonna do is go around on the back of each of these and put a big, just a glob of, a big glob of thread lock like right here, just on all of them, because there's nothing I hate more than a rattle. Finally, I replaced the bolt, screw, trim panel covers, and the back door upper garnishes. All right. It's not bad. Yeah, it's like a one and a half beer job. It looks like it's always been there, and I will never remember it. Look how solid it is. Don't forget to take credit for how well designed the thing that you didn't design is to your wife. That's awesome. Push it up kind of hard. You gotta make sure that they latch in. 
There you go. And then give it a little tap. Make oh, sure okay. that it's on both sides. It didn't, it didn't click, so I was a little... It's nice and solid, right? Yeah, it's extremely solid. Hi right, guys, well, that wasn't that bad at all. This bison gear stuff is awesome. Got the whole rear of the GX all bison geared out now. Got the Molly system on the windows, the uh, gear loft up here, the cargo barrier that stores out of the way with a cool magnet, and a new full size stainless table with Molly on the back. Pretty awesome. All right, not a bad day. See you next time.